Well, hello and welcome from a very sunny yet chilly Porth Core. And today I'm back on the beach. I'm starting at Rest Bay, but well, actually I'm just around the corner from Rest Bay in an area known locally as the Cove. And before we go any further, let's take in the views. The reason why I'm here. Well, about a year ago, I made a video where I walked from Scare Point along the coast to Portugal Harbour. And on the way, I talked about the many shipwrecks which have occurred along this stretch of the Bristol Channel. Following the video, I was contacted by a few people that said they've got additional information regarding a couple of those wrecks. And that's what I'm gonna have a look at today. By the way, if you haven't seen the original video, I'll put a link below and I'll be coming up at the end of this one as well. You can tell we're in Wales by the lighting. I woke up this morning, it was dark and drizzly. Then the sun came out, blue skies. Now it's clouding over again. So fingers crossed, it's going to remain dry. Well, anyway, back to the video. And the first ship I'm going to revisit is the wreck of the Kendi. That's K-E-N-D-Y. So, the Kendi. The Kendi was a steel hulled steamer built in 1919 and it was used to carry sand and gravel from Cardiff to Swansea. In August 1928, it got into difficulty just off Porth Core and its last position given was a mile and a quarter northwest of Porth Core Coast Guard Station. In my original video, it sank just off Rest Bay, but Trinity House couldn't find the exact location of the wreck. Well, anyway, following my video, I was contacted by someone in, who's got a boat in Portugal Harbour who frequently fishes in this area. And they said they've got some side scan images of the wreck. So I'll put those in now. Have a look at these. So if you look at those images, you probably can see the coordinates in the corner. And those coordinates are here on the map. These tie in very closely with the position of the wreck held by the National Monument Records of Wales. So I'd like to thank the person that sent me the images. I don't know if he wants to be named. Well, I'll give his first name. His name's Jeff, and he's got a little fishing boat in Porthgore Harbour. So thanks for those. So now, that's the Kendi. So now I'm going to walk down into town, actually towards Porthgore Harbour, and we're going to look at another wreck I mentioned on my walk, original walk, and that was the wreck of the Sage. So I walked from Rest Bay down to Porthgall Harbour. In the background, you may be able to hear the building work, the renovation of Porthgall Pier. It's been going on for nearly a year. They say they're gonna finish it by March, 2022. So I don't know if they're gonna make that deadline. Well, anyway, back to the shipwrecks. In my original video, I briefly mentioned a ship called the Sage. It was uh, a wooded and sailing catch built in 1847 and owned by Evan Williams from North Wales. 
In 1906, it was en route from Porth Maddock down to Port Talbot, carrying roofing slates. It caught in a 4-7 storm, a westerly storm, and it missed Port Talbot, and it tried to get into Porthcall Harbour. Unfortunately, it ran aground on these rocks. And if you want to know where I am, in the background, you can see the old Coast Guard lookout station there. So we're directly in front of that. After making that video, somebody I know approached me and said, you fishes on this point. Did you know at a low tide, you can actually find remnants of the cargo from the sage? Roofing slates jammed in the rocks, in the crevices. They've been here for over a hundred years. So let's go and take a look and see if we can find these for ourselves. It has to be low tide, which it is in about 20 minutes, low tide. And it's, it's directly in front of the new lifeboat station and the old Coast Guard station, straight out. So let's go and take a look and see if we can find the cargo, the roofing slates from the old ship, the Sage. The slates are difficult to find and you only can get to them at low tide. I mean low tide, not, you know, literally. If you look at a screen print of the coordinates, it actually says zero elevation. So I'm looking up towards the old Coast Guard lookout. I would say we're 20 foot to the left of it towards town. But anyway, take a look at these. They've been here for over a hundred years. There's quite a few sets dotted around and obviously they're covered in barnacles and stuff like that. North Wales roofing slates. If you do choose to walk to the point to find the slates, be careful. As you can see, it's really rocky and jagged. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my short update to the shipwreck video. And if you haven't seen the original video, it's coming up next, along with some other interesting videos. And I'll see you in one of those. Bye.